And so what exactly is stress? Well, stress can be explained over millions of years, way back when Earth didn't really have continents. When plants evolved into microorganisms, they didn't really have too much going on. They could breathe and mate. Over a millennia, the species would evolve into lizards and reptiles. And this is where stress really comes from. So a species with a stress response would live on and continue because they could escape the predator. So stress is not really a negative thing because it led to where we are today. Now, over time, the species would then evolve into mammals. The mammal brain is where higher charged emotions come from, like love and joy and gratitude. And these days, we still have that limbic brain, the stress brain, way deep inside, which still triggers the same prehistoric response. So this stress can now trigger more stress, more anxieties, more worries, more fear. We pretty much get stressed about being stressed. So it's a negative feedback loop. This results in chronic stress and chronically elevated cortisol levels. So what can we really do about it? How do we get out and experience more joy and harmony? Well, the answer is you can train your brain. You can strengthen those mammal cortex pathways to inhibit the limbic brain because it is higher in the spectrum. So your mind is like a muscle. It can be trained and strengthened. It can be stronger in the circuits of love and gratitude and harmony and forgiveness, whatever you value. And you can strengthen these parts of your mind to inhibit the anxious parts. If you don't use it, you really lose it. And those anxieties will continue to come up. So this is what they've been talking about for thousands of years in all these ancient cultures. So have a think about it. Try and meditate and tune in to my next video where we can understand how our values and our beliefs will create our reality. Thank you.